actually feel that price is. So why don't companies innovate? There are really three reasons. First of all, they're too busy. Many of us are just working and doing whatever we can to keep the business running. And so we don't feel we have time to do anything other than just put out fires and to keep selling and try and keep the employees paid. We're too busy. Another reason, they think innovation is for big companies. Apple does innovation. Tesla does innovation. Uh, IBM does innovation. But we don't think about businesses that are small, one or two employees or 50 employees, really doing innovation. That word sounds like a big word to people. And lastly, we don't innovate because we don't know how. There's a fear of it. How do you innovate? How do you actually make it happen? And that can be uh, something which can keep people from making the changes that their businesses need to stay ahead of the competition. There's actually two types of, of innovation. A lot of the examples that I showed, the iPhone was really a, a radical innovation, an innovation that changed an industry, that changed the category. But you can also do incremental innovation. Those are smaller innovations that are more like feature enhancements, smaller things that you can do. So every innovation does not have to be category changing, industry changing. They can be smaller innovations, and that's what small and medium businesses frequently need to think about. So there's a process for doing innovation, and it uses the word scamper. The word scamper is an acronym. And what it stands for is substitute, combine, adapt, modify, put to other uses, eliminate, or rearrange. So when you think about it, nearly any product or service can have these changes done to it and it can be innovated on. So using Scamper, what you're thinking about with a product are all the different things that go into any product that we have, into anything that we might sell, a service or a product. And every service or product has some of these components. They have materials, they have features, they have processes, labor, uh, different components, ingredients, methods. Anything that is part of what is done can be improved upon, can be innovated upon using the scamper process. So what I thought we would do is think about now an eraser. Probably one of the most basic products that you can have. But it's one that surely can be innovated on. So, so what might what might you do with an eraser to innovate? Well, you can change the color, you can change the shape, you can change what it's made out of to make it more effective. You could, uh, let's see, uh, I've seen electric erasers. So you can have erasers that are for different purposes. Instead of for erasing ink or pen, uh, we've all seen the, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, which is used to clean surfaces. That's an eraser. So even with a very basic product like an eraser, you can have innovation that will be attractive to your customers. So uh, in closing now, what I want to say is that incremental innovation is really for everybody. It's something that we all need to do to stay ahead of our competition and to make sure that we are successful. So before I uh, stop, I want to see if there are any, anybody have any questions about me. Okay. Well, one final thought is, what I'd like you to do is to think about some of the ways that we can innovate and apply them to your business this week. Take something that you learned, bring it back to your business, and apply it and move forward. Thank you very much.
马亮来亚特兰大，为咱们华人献上一台精美的、精彩的。下面我们有请上海歌舞团团长陈辉华先生给我们讲几句话。